Yeah, so life uh, goes pretty fast, right? It gets pretty busy. But we're responsible for it, right? I mean, all the business in your life is, is either because you've created it or you allow it. And so we say pretty busy. I mean, we, uh, we wake up to an alarm clock telling us that we've had just about as much sleep as we should be allowed before we have to get ready and get busy. You need your rest. You should get your rest. But we get up and we're in a hurry, provided we don't give ourselves the amount of time that we need. We're in a hurry to get up and get ready. We take a look in the mirror and we realize we need to make some adjustments because we're not going to head out in the world looking like that. And so we make the necessary adjustments. We start getting things around the house ready. If you have children, you start to help them get ready. And, uh, and then get breakfast ready and, and get everybody ready to take off and get to their first appointment or the place where they need to get to, whether it's school, whether it's uh, the job or some appointments, whatever. And we get out there and we go. We continue on with our busyness. And then, by the end of the day, we come home. And maybe get a little bit of time to just plop on the couch and relax for a minute and kind of unwind. But then there's the evening busyness, right? Maybe the kids have a baseball game or a soccer game or something or ballet. Or you have to go to the gym and you want to get your exercise in. Or you got to start getting dinner ready. And then you have dinner and everybody kind of comes around and then, and then there's the cleanup, right? And then hopefully after that, you get a, a few moments just to veg out. You turn the tube on or, or something and you just kind of veg. You need that time, right? You kind of recharge the batteries, I get it. And we go to, go to sleep, just to wake up and do it all over again. It gets kind of crazy. And then in all of this, somebody comes along and tells you, hey, you know what? You need to spend some time with the Lord. You need some quiet time. And you're like, yeah. Where am I going to get that? So how am I supposed to stop all of this? Uh, all this busyness doesn't just turn off. I mean, there are some real demands on my time. There are some real demands on me, personally. Some things that need my personal attention. I can't duplicate myself and make them happen. Early on in the ministry of Jesus Christ, news started to spread about him pretty fast. I mean, he's healing lepers and feeding 5,000 people uh, with a couple of loaves, of, a few loaves of bread and some fish. The news started spreading pretty quick and people started demanding more of his time and more of his presence and asking him to do things that only he can do. And it's crazy because even he took time to get away to a quiet place and to pray. I mean, uh, it says in, in Luke chapter 5, verse 15 and 16, he says, But now even more the report about him went abroad, and great crowds gathered to hear him and to be healed of their infirmities. But he would withdraw to desolate places and pray. Even God himself knew the importance, I mean, had, gave us an example of the importance of getting away and being still before God. Take control. Find a place, your bathroom, your front yard, your kitchen table, the woods and just be still just be still 
and know he's God.